A1. Hashtag underrated hype TV 249. Take that. Nobody else at underrated hype TV. Hashtag verse TV 249C. I have loved that song for years. And I, I still remember I first fell in love with that song in the parking lot of my first job out of college. And I stress that because technically it was my second job, but my first job was my the summer before I went to college. Anyway, or the summer that I went to college. Mm, the summer before. Anyway, at my second job, that second job, my first job out of college, I fell in love with that song in the parking lot at the job, like after work or before work or whatever. And from a mechanical, technical standpoint of the music, even before... I was able to delve into the lyrics and all of that very much and connect with it. I loved the song and the fact that he, not he, because take that as a group. The lead singer did the thing where he went from a bridge because bridges in music you know and this was circa 1995 i think and they're from the uk but being circa 1995 of course there were still bridges in music and he went from a bridge and belted out of the bridge and i love that stuff i love it and i would always listen to it loving the the way that he belted out of the bridge. We'll just start again. We'll just start again. Oh, I love that. Uh, I do. And, okay, again, from a mechanical standpoint of the song, the fact that he belted out of the bridge, which I love, and belted into a key change. Yes, key change. Yes, bridge. Yes, belt. I love it. Anyway. And, yeah. As a more grown adult, I'm 40, 40 years old. As a more grown adult, I also now connect with and love the lyrics. And... I love that the song is like reminiscing through shared experiences and the beauty of such things. And I think that's really cool. Reminiscing on shared experiences with your partner. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he he did have that line in, or they did have that line of the song where he's like we're the only couple still together it's like wow okay you know and I wish the best for everybody I want everybody I want every couple to last forever I want me and my baby my love I love him Yes. Oh, to look back at our fun times and photos together and everybody still be together. So I, I don't want us to be the only couple still together. I want everybody's couple to be together forever, together forever, and they're too far. Me and my baby, and 
and yeah as far as the lyrics it was until this past weekend that i used to think as much as i love the bridge and i love that he belted his way out of the bridge into a key change all of that i used to think it was just corny that the song was describing you know flipping through a photo album which is the thing of the past now but flipping through a photo album with your partner and going through the old memories and when we get to the end of the album we'll just start again we'll just start again you know and i used to feel that that was just putting a lot of yeah just emotion into something that was corny but this weekend when i was listening to it again like it actually pulled like some tears and i was like oh my gosh that's like that line of whitney houston's on the song one of the songs that i love by whitney houston i have nothing when she says don't make me close one more door i don't want to hurt you more like at first, it seems like it's something corny, but when you really get into it, it's like, oh my gosh, that is deep. And the same thing with this song. Once we get to the end, we'll just start again. We'll just start again. Hashtag Verse TV family, stop trying to make me cry. Oh my gosh. But yeah. It's a beautiful song, and I enjoy it very much. And we'll just start again after. And when we've been through all the pages, we'll just start again. We'll just start again. Oh, and as far as the group Take That, there, that was the title track from that album, the American hit, big American hit on that album was Back for Good. If that can make bring up memories for you all. You came back for good. Whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. That, that was the American hit on that album. Again, they're from the UK and they're like, Huge. I'll also talk about 